strip. Late night comedians just can't get enough of former Fort Wayne Mayor Harry Balls. Last night, Jimmy Kimmel featured a story by Fox Fort Wayne to background the campaign to honor Balls by naming Fort Wayne's new government building after him. Now, our Kristen Mazur sat down with Mayor Tom Henry today to talk about Fort Wayne's new fame. Kristen joins us live with the interview you'll only see right here on Fox Fort Wayne. Kristen? And Jim, despite reports that the city feared being a national laughing stock, Mayor Henry tells me today that he's embracing the attention. In fact, he was all smiles during my interview with him today. From syndicated radio to late night TV, it seems just about everyone is talking about former Fort Wayne Mayor Harry Balls. I am not making that up. That was his name. Harry Bo Harold Balls, obviously. An absolutely outrageous story from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Residents have come up with all sorts of names for the soon-to-be home of the city and county offices. The clear frontrunner with around 500 votes is the Harry Balls Government Center. <laughs> Did you ever expect that this naming process would get this much recognition? Uh, certainly not this much recognition. Uh, initially, it was supposed to be pretty much for the citizens of Fort Wayne. But now folks from L.A. to New York, even London, are flocking to the city's website to vote to name a government building after Harry Balls. I love it. I think it's fantastic. It's exactly why we created feedback for Wayne. To date, the Harry Balls Government Center has around 20,000 votes. This morning, the name even made it to the top of the Google Hot Topic list. But not everyone is thrilled with the recent buzz. While many are concerned about putting the name Harry Balls on the Renaissance Square building, Mayor Balls is already commemorated at several spots around town. Under this Calhoun Street Bridge, you'll find the mayor's name and image. And just behind the Memorial Coliseum, you'll find Harry Balls Drive. But it looks like that's where the recognition stops. Despite the overwhelming worldwide support, Mayor Henry says the new city county building still likely won't be named after Mayor Balls. And it's not because of the name. Actually, uh, Mayor Balls was, was a, a great mayor. Henry says it would be unfair to recognize just one mayor, but that shouldn't stop folks from backing Mayor Balls. But to have a chance to, uh, uh, to unload a little bit and have some fun with it, I think that's great. And voting for the name of the new city-county building ends tomorrow, but it'll be a few weeks before Mayor Henry will pick a winner. Jim? Still time to vote. Thanks very much. Kristen.